welcome back to my channel. This is the 24th vlog in the series of the build of my model and skill train track. If you want to follow me in the whole process of building this table, please consider to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for further videos. So in this video I want to show you the progress I made with the helix and the location where it resides. Here's some pictures on how I stacked the helix. Starting with the base, I used the same method which I used with the incline and decline of the main track. Next I stacked each circle and separated them with blocks to get the incline and decline. Since the helix is placed under the table, I will need to complete it under the table. Here you see the picture of the base mounted under the table and next is the stacking of each layer. As you can see that will be a tight fit and I need to remove some parts of the frame. I will show the result in a later video. But to be able to connect the helix to the main track I will need to add two turnouts. One turnout is for entering the helix and the other one is to have the train travel back to the main track. I will add a decline and incline side of the table in this area. To be able to add the turnout to enter the helix, I had to remove the upper deck which contains the train yard. So here is the location where the turnout will be. I marked it with a red pencil on the table. I used a Dremel to cut out the track to fit the turnout correctly. So here is the track removed and I also need to lower down the cork. So this is a test fit of the turnout, including the switcher. And as you can see there is a little rise on that turnout, so I need to lower the cork a little bit or shave it off a bit. So let's see if it all fits correctly. Uh, looking at it, it looks pretty good. Now I will remove it and we'll put some extra addition track to it. Since I cut out the power section, I need to bring power to the turnout as well. And I will use it as one power section, this to avoid any problems. So let's see how this train runs through that turnout and to that turnout. That's the new turnout to go to the helixes. Let's see how it travels. Nice. Let's see how it goes back. Nice. So let's see if the locomotive travels so there is no power on the track So this is how it looks like with the backdrop back on it. You see that the mountains etc are behind that bar, but since that is the um, but since that is the staging yard, it's not not that uh, 
important. It's just for the blue sky. What's there? So now we have a exit to go to the helix. Here you can see that the train stops for the turnout. If the turnout is set straight, then the train will travel through the helix. Uh, this is what I still need to be built. So a curve will be positioned here. But that will be in a later video. For now, this is it. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and ring the bell. And I will see you in a next video. Thank you and goodbye.